Welcome to the channel, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We do have a Hot Wheels showcase today. We are going to be talking about the haul and gas. We're going to be talking about inception up to current day. This uh, casting was designed by Junamai back in 2011. This is the debut version in Milk Duds. Junamai did a fantastic job. This particular model here is based on a 1933 Diamond T Doodle Bug. Yes, it was called a Doodle Bug. Uh, this was used by the Texaco Corporation in the 1930s to transport fuel uh, between refineries and all that good stuff like that. So it is based on a real vehicle, although this one is not licensed. This is the mix it debuted with. Yes, there are 10 cars in that mix. Very different from today's pop culture or car culture. Um, it'd be nice to get a 10-car mix of car culture. It would be pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and deck out this one. Get him out the blister. Take a look at it. This is a casting that uh, I don't feel like a lot of people like. I don't think it uh, really fits much of the collecting realm uh, currently, but I think that's fine. Um, this one was really designed to be in this pop culture line. Uh, you know, they want something that has a lot of surface space to put it, you know, prints and stuff on, uh, especially for pop culture and things like that. Um, some retro entertainment as well. This guy done up with Milk Duds. Not a big fan of Milk Duds myself personally, but. Uh, they're not bad. I can eat them, but I would uh, definitely prefer not to. A little bit of milk duds on the back. A little bit of print for the taillights. Looks pretty decent. I really do like this casting. I don't necessarily like the offset wheels. Uh, you know, big old business in the back, smaller in the front. This one has a couple of, like, snowflakes and stuff on it, which is kind of interesting. There is the print on the front, full headlights and turn signals. There is an interior in the Model 2. It's just kind of hard to see in there because the windows are super small. There is the base deets for this guy. There it is, Holland Gas, made in Thailand, 2011, D39. That is going to be your very first code. So we'll put him up there as the beginner. All right, next one up that they use this guy for is the Carvel Ice Cream Mix. There you go, your Holland Gas. This is this particular mix on the back. It was only six cars. Most of these, um, you know, entertainment type you know, pop culture mix back in the day. Most of them were six cars. Some of them were five, um, but 10 cars was, was I think maybe only once or twice. So that is the mix here. We do have uh, the ice cream truck in the collection here doing the haul and gas. The rest of them we can definitely uh, live without. So we'll pull our Carvel ice cream one out. Does have the ice cream sandwiches on the side. Looks pretty good. The detail right there with some, you know, little you know, access ports and whatnot. Looks kind of cool. This one is nice with kind of the big, huge salt flat wheels. I kind of call them the salt flat wheels. I think it looks cool. Uh, pretty pretty tame. Other than that, it does have a nice chrome interior. So that is part of the interior. So you can see there's chrome through the in, inside there. So you can see there's, there's the interior detail a little bit. Uh, this guy gets uh, full prints on the front as well. It says Carvel on the front. Same headlights and turn signals decals there. Same with the taillights. No additional prints in the back as far as like the logo or anything like that goes. So, and then just your regular base deets. Looks like um, E13 maybe. Maybe E11. Day code right there. So, we'll throw that guy up there. All right, next one up after that did move into the Felix line. Felix the Cat. This is one of the cooler ones in my opinion. I think this one looks very, very cool. Big Felix on the card there. There is the mix here. Of course, you do have your drag bus for sure. Obviously going to be the most popular one of the entire mix. Uh, but that GMC motorhome is also pretty cool. Some people like the Volkswagen Fastback. But, uh, you know, other than that, it's a, it's a pretty meh set, this one was. So we'll get our Felix version out of here. See how the print goes. This one goes back to the original one with the big, huge chrome five spokes. I think it looks pretty good. Felix the Cat. I like that. Looks good. Good details on it. Nice uh, triple tone black. Uh, kind of a super pearl white and then yellow. Very cool looking. Same exact print on the front. So we're seeing a trend here that is going to be exactly the print. Kind of if you look at it like this, it makes it look like it's kind of cute. It's kind of a cute little thing. It's kind of weird. Um, and then taking a look at the back, this one is really nice. You do have Felix on the back. It does say Felix on there as well. All red for the uh, prints. Looks pretty cool. Moving around to the base deets. Looks like they're going to print that base 
or a part in there every single time. F03 for this one. So we'll slot him in there. Yes, he does fit in our little stand, even though he's he's a bit of a heavyweight. It's a bit of a hefty one. All right, moving into some very, very interesting decos. Um, this was a General Mills mix. Uh, this is Jolly Green Giant. Um, definitely not a cool looking one. This is the mix here. Uh, very interesting. Uh, decos and stuff on here. Uh, really not a good mix at all. I mean, the 77 Pack and Pacers is a pretty cool casting, but uh, this was just not a good mix. Um, getting this guy in Green Giant was just kind of, kind of interesting. So, not really sure what the marketing team thought back in the day with some of these, but uh, cross-brand promotions, I guess. There you go, Green Giant on the side. This one does come with the GT wheel, big, nice, huge GT wheels in the back with some white striping on the tires. I do like that. That looks pretty cool. Um, this kind of a bluish-green kind of color, kind of a weird offset. It just says Green Giant on the side. It has the big Jolly Green Giant on there. There you go with the same prints on the front. Kind of makes it look like it has eyelashes. I can't I can't unsee that now, unfortunately. Uh, and then take a look at the back. Just uh, red red dots for the taillights. You know, pretty standard fare for the rest of those. This one dated F09. So this one came out the same year as Felix. Uh, pretty much just a few mixes right after Felix. So the next one up in the mix, a little bit of a gap here. We are missing one. This one was from Hanna-Barbera, was the Flintstones. This is the one we're looking at here. Unfortunately, I don't have that one in the mix currently. Um, there's only two two versions I'm missing. Unfortunately, this happens to be one. But that is one of the ones that we're missing, unfortunately. So we'll still hunt that one down at some point in time. Our next one up in the mix that we do have, this one was released afterwards, coming up after Hannah Bob Bear. This is, of course, Peanuts with uh, the you know football scene where she picks the football up and he goes to kick it and basically uh you know takes a spill there's the mix on the back here this one was a pretty good mix uh that gmc panel was very cool convoy custom very cool um the quick delivery was kind of cool because it had jack-o-lanterns printed on the wheels which i thought was kind of cool um, i do have one of those floating around in the collection somewhere just because i thought it was kind of cool so we'll go ahead and pull out our next holland gas which would be number six of the entire history we weren't missing one. There is the Peanuts one. Now, this was pretty cool because so far, everything we've seen is exact on every side. This one does have two separate prints on each side. So the first side print is, of course, where it starts, where she picks the ball up. He flies up in the air. And then that next side shows him just sitting on the ground uh, after he uh, apparently got injured from his fall. Uh, very nice, uh, really, really nice pearl color to the paint um, and then it kind of blends in with some blue um, to do like the sky and stuff for each side of the picture it looks very good very impressive prints on this one for sure this comes with the five spokes in chrome as well red line tires very hot wheels a five does have some lime green around the bottom there is that print again in the front that we're just never going to unsee um, and then in the back does have a little bird i forget what the bird's name is uh, but does have the tail light prints as well uh, kind of a baby blue color for the interior for this one which is kind of a cool interesting contrast as far as the base deeds go on this one printed moved down looks like g38 so moving through still made in thailand still rocking 2011 so throw that guy up there we won't we won't leave a spot in there because there's plenty to go through all right, next one up, bam, Star Wars fans. I'm sure there's plenty of Star Wars fans out there. This one, C-3PO on there. This is the mix on the back of this one. Of course, it does have a drag truck Volkswagen, uh, relatively popular. Uh, did pick up the Astro Van and the XGW as well. Um, and then now I have the Holland Gas. I might have the Spoiler Sport. Um, I, I wasn't trying to collect this series, but... Uh, I do like the Astro Van. I do like that XGW panel van too. So it was only natural that eventually I would get the Hull and Gas because this one is fantastic with all the gold details, of course, because it's got to be C3PO. And he is a nice golden uh, droid. Uh, looks fantastic. I love the gold wheels. Super, super shiny. Makes it look super, super upscale. White line tires on this one. The gold on the model looks fantastic. There's C3PO kind of scared, kind of, kind of, jumping back a little bit on this side 
and then on the other side it's the exact same print so went back to the standardized here of course gold interior on top of the gold print on top of the gold wheels a uh, little bit print difference for the headlights i definitely like that that is a nice welcome change this one looks pretty good the, it's a lot of gold and i think it's absolutely uh perfect i think it's absolutely necessary to have all that gold on there uh, as far as day codes there you go it is h24 so still rocking thailand still pumping them out looks pretty good i do like that one that one might be might be the coolest one so far might be we'll see all right moving up after that we did do a marvel theme this is for the punisher the original punisher the uh, old school version of the punisher uh not the new version there is the mix on the back of course i do have the a100 i have almost every single a100 I love that cast. It's one of my favorites. Same with the Combat Medic. I have a bazillion of them, but I'm missing a bazillion of them. Uh, this was another really good mix. 55 Chevy Panel, 80 El Camino, and of course the GMC Motorhome. A very, very good mix for sure. Crack this guy open. This guy is in a nice... Might be silver, but it might be Zamek. Uh, but we're going to see. Kind of hoping it's Zamek, but it's probably, it's probably silver. So taking a look at this one, it is in fact Zamek. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Nice, cool Zamic look to it. Does have the Punisher there. Kicking some a booty right there. Taking names. Of course, using that same five spoke seems to be the most popular wheel for this one. Kind of went uh, went back to the prints in the front a little bit, but does have some grill print on there, which is really cool. That might be a different flavor for us. Very, very cool with that. Different on this side. Does have him using the gun to do all of his Punisher things. And then really cool in the back just has the Punisher logo right there with some tail light print. This one is very nice because it has a nice black painted base, which I think is super cool because it just helps to really showcase the details of the base. Not that there's a whole lot, but I do like the two exhausts out the back, which is pretty cool. J06 is the day code for the Punisher. Very cool. I didn't realize that one was, uh, that was Zamic. That one's cool. It was super cool. All right, next one up after that, this is Mad Magazine, which was very, very cool. Uh, they were definitely, uh, you know, putting these towards adult collectors for sure. That one looks kind of cool, kind of baby blue color. This is the mix for this one. Of course, Spy versus Spy did have both Spies with the A100. I thought that was a super cool idea. I was really stoked to get those. 55 Chevy panel and 64 Chevy Nova panel. You guys can see a theme as we go through all these. They definitely need stuff with big print areas. So a lot of people are like, I don't understand why they don't use this casting or that casting. It's got to have print area. If it doesn't have print area, then they don't want to use it. That's the whole point. All right, returning back to the GT wheel, which I really like. It says, Stoink. Does have a guy in the bathroom there. Very, very cool art there. Red or uh, White line tires on this one. Prints look pretty good on the front. A little bit of grill print in there as well. Of course, high quality prints because they always are. And then, watch, he gets hit in the face with some eggs. So, I like that it's a different on each side. A little bit of white around the uh, wheel wells, which is pretty cool. Got your Mad Magazine logo in the back with a little bit of taillight prints. Pretty standard quote here. And then there is the base deets. K23, it looks like. K23 is your day code. Still rocking in Thailand. I do mention that for a reason because premiums did move from Thailand at one point. All right, next one up in the mix is our only other gap. Of course, that is for the Beatles. I actually came across this one the other day, but it was in a set, and I didn't want the whole set. I just wanted the one car. Uh, so, unfortunately, I don't have the Beatles one. So, it's the only other one we don't have. Of course, we had Hanna-Barbera and the Beatles. But then they moved on to DC Comics. And they moved on to good old Superman. Um, good old Clark, Clark Kent. There is the mix on the back. Of course, the T1 panel. One of the more popular uh, castings for sure. Austin Minivan A100. Du Custom Dodge Van. And then, of course, the Holland Gas. Which is like, you know, the most uplifting looking one of them all because it's all nice and sky blue so get this guy out of this one pull him out there he is flying through the air i love it 
looks awesome. The whole thing looks like it's just the sky with him flying. Really, really cool. I like that look. Some redline tires with the normal five spokes. The same prints on the front. Glad that it always gets prints. I think it definitely needs them. And then there's him just kind of cruising around with the city in the back with Metropolis in the back. Looks cool. Very, very cool look to that. Uh, silver, kind of a grayish silver interior. I do like that look. It definitely fits the theme. Definitely fits the theme. There is your trademark logos and, of course, good old Superman logo itself. And then moving on to the standardized base here, L04. You see we just moving up through the years. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, next one up in the mix, Led Zeppelin. Got some music fans out there for sure from Atlantic Records. This is, of course, the Hindenburg there in the background. This is the particular mix here for Led Zeppelin. Really, really cool. I think all these have to do with their uh, album arts and stuff like that. Super, super cool. Um, Highway Hauler, very, very cool. Combat Medic, that one's also cool as well. Yeah, Austin Minivan is meh, but... Uh, not too bad, not too bad. They, they were pretty decent mixes, but you definitely have to be a fan of the Deco in order to pick these up for the most part. Oh man, this one is super cool. Look at that. Look at the detail of the Hindenburg burning as it comes down. All black around here for the sky. Very, very cool. I like the contrast. That is Zamic. So it just has the black print on the Zamic body. Five spokes on this one. Does have a nice super contrast orange interior. Really, really like that. Printing for the uh, marker lights on the top. We haven't really been getting that at all. As a matter of fact, this might be the first one we got the marker lights done up. Very, very cool print on the front. They did mix up the mix or the uh, prints on the front. So I definitely like that. Gives a different look. It doesn't look cute with that print. I like that. I like it's it's different. Um, there is the same print on the other side. And you see that it is mirrored. So they are the same prints on both sides. But I think it looks super cool. I really like this one a lot. This one might be, might be my new current favorite. Uh, nothing really different behind here. Just some orange for the tail lights instead of red. And then this one has a nice gloss black painted base with uh, N40 is your day code. Pretty cool. I wish they'd use a different wheel. As a matter of fact, I kind of wish they'd go back to the... I think that wheel would have looked better on that one. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. All right. Getting very, very, very current. This is, of course, the oil mix uh this one came out just a few years ago this one has lion head oils on it lion head motor oils most of you guys will recognize this mix once you see that golf 83 chevy silverado square body of course the little red express with shell it was a pretty good mix a gip for the airflow which is pretty cool that would match the uh the um car culture uh, c-class uh race day that just came out which is pretty cool uh 63 studebaker champ so get this guy open. Definitely not one that I uh, really paid attention to uh, previously. But uh, definitely like this casting. Definitely. It's grown on me a little bit. There is the first side there. Of course, Monarch of Oil, Lionhead Motor Oil. Got some details here. Not sure if we'll be able to read that. Guaranteed 100% um, paraffin rose, I think is what it says. Kind of interesting. Somebody knows what that means, definitely drop a comment. Let me know. Uh, five spokes on this one does have the nice silver interior as well. Uh, a little bit of white print on the top for really nice contrast. The marker lights on the top are done up. This one looks very, very good. Prints look pretty good on the top or the front again. A little bit, a little bit more of that cutesy look, but not too bad. Not too bad. There is the deets on the side of this. Looks pretty good. It's all the same side to side. Nothing different between the two. Kind of interesting. And then, of course, your Lion's Head uh, logo there in the back. It says Roar. A little bit of print on the taillights. H36. So getting way up there. Way up there. It's uh, still quite a few years ago. That was probably, I don't know, four or five years ago probably. All right, next one up in the mix was this guy. Of course, they went back to doing some DC stuff. This was a Batman-specific mix. Um, as a matter of fact, I think this might have been... Um, just last year potentially there's the mix there you can see it looks very familiar i know a lot of guys been uh pulling this this was a new casting by the way when this came out and a lot of people were taking wheel swaps this is one of those ones that uh, you pull the little button on the bottom and the whole body comes off the top like the old school mini cooper used to be which is super cool um i did pick up this entire mix 
the whole mix. Um, never opened the Hull and Gas, though. The rest of them went into the collection, but for whatever reason, the Hull and Gas just kind of hung around. So, but we got the Hull and Gas now. So, we will go ahead and crack him open, add him to the fleet, get the cardboard to cooperate a little bit. There we go. Pull him away. There is Batman right there. He's kind of perched on a little bit of a ledge. Kind of hard to see, but he's on a little ledge. He's got some, some crazy stuff and some artisticness coming off in the background. You know, kind of an explosion type of look. Um, same five spokes that we always get. That's the one bad thing about these, these premium castings for these pop culture mixes is there's not a lot of variety to the way that the castings are done up, unfortunately. Uh, cool prints on the headlights. Finally get something different. So we'll definitely take that. Not too bad. Sorry, marker lights done on the top. Does have nice chrome uh, interior, which is cool. Like that. Makes it look a little bit more upscale. Uh, same detail on the other side for Batman. So exact same side to side. Very interesting. Uh, a little bit of blue on the top. Kind of an interesting color combination. Kind of Superman colors, but that's a, that's okay. And then, of course, you, you know, your trademarks at the back like they always have to have. This one is cool because it has a nice silver painted base. Actual silver painted See if we can see a day code. It is stamped. So it looks like that one is R12. So yeah, this was just a couple years ago. Actually, this was last year. Early, early last year. Early 2022. So we'll throw him up there. So that gives us R12. That brings us all the way current to this guy. So this guy was already in the mix. Um, I had already cracked this guy open. This came in the most current uh fuel related mix um so this guy was already cracked open so this is the absolutely newest one in the mix union 76 uh on the uh arguably this is the best version they've done thus far although i don't have the Hanna barbera or the beatles one but i did see the beatles one uh definitely not better than the the beatles one is definitely not better than this one but that Hanna barbera might be pretty good might be pretty good when we add that to the collection i'll, I'll have to reevaluate that um, but I really like this one. Big orange GT wheels. I really like the look of that. Orange interior. Very, very cool. Very, very cool to get something besides Golf. Um, kind of cool to get Union 76. A little bit of prints in the back. White painted base looks pretty good. I do like that one. This one is stamped as well. Up in the front here, it is S23. So that tells you just how new it is. It is absolutely, positively brand spanking new. So there you go. That is your walkthrough. Nice, good little showcase featuring the hauling gas for today. Probably not the most popular casting. Um, I say that with a smirk because it's definitely not the most popular casting, but I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully I can get some other you guys to check that out and really like it. Maybe you might go out and pick a couple of these up, but appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. We're going to roll out. Catch you next time here on Level M. Peace.